In this video, I'll be showing you how to make one of my favorite toys. This mini cannon can be made almost entirely from parts salvaged from a standard barbecue lighter. The first step to making this mini cannon will be to find the widest bodied barbecue lighter available. The wide lighter indicates a large gas reservoir, which is what is going to make up the main body of our mini cannon. The lighter should now be disassembled by removing any screws and cutting along the safety sticker. The body of the lighter should now easily split down the middle, though the front may need to be broken. At this point, the gas line and wires will now be exposed. The gas line can be disconnected, and the wires should be pulled out from the front of the lighter. Now with the gas line disconnected and the wires pulled from the front of the lighter, you can extract this gas chamber. Now this piece right here, which can be easily removed, is the piezoelectric igniter. This is what is going to be used to create the spark which ignites the cannon. Now this lighter still has a full gas chamber. I'll need to empty it before continuing. To do so, what I will do is go outside and unscrew this white piece. That will release all the gas. Alright, so I've now gone outside and I've removed this white piece to release the gas. I must now take this white piece and remove the brass valve out of it. Now in this piece, there's a larger hole towards the bottom and a small hole towards the top. What I need to do is take a drill bit and make it all the same size, which means I need to bore out that small section. Here is that plastic piece now drilled out. Now the last thing we need to do to this little white piece is to sand it down so it will fit inside our barrel. Our barrel can be made of anything, though I like to use something that is 6 millimeters in internal diameter so that it will fit airsoft pellets. This is the barrel off a broken airsoft gun. Alternately, you can use a 6 millimeter pen tube. Once the plastic piece has been sanded down enough to fit the barrel, it should be glued on with epoxy or another strong glue. At this point, a hole should be drilled at the back of the canister to fit approximately a quarter inch diameter bolt. The hole should be drilled slightly smaller than the bolt so that when you screw it in, the threads dig into the plastic. The next thing we are going to do is to take two of these self-tapping screws and screw them through the wall of our chamber. The goal is to screw them in so that they will come very close to touching in the center. This is where our spark is going to jump across once we have our piezoelectric igniter hooked up. When you are putting these screws in, stop when there is still a small gap. It is now time to install the piezoelectric igniter. This installs right back into the cylinder, right where it was in the lighter. Now both of the wires on this igniter need to be wrapped around underneath the screw heads. The screws can then be tightened down fully onto those wires. Once you are confident that both of these wires have a good connection, you can go ahead and cover the heads of the screws with hot glue. You can see I've already done so on this cannon. If you do not insulate the screw heads with hot glue, when you squeeze the trigger and you are holding the cannon like this, the screw heads will be making contact with your hand and you will simply be shocking yourself rather than igniting it. With the hot glue now over the heads of the screws on this cannon, it is now ready to fire. A final touch, however, is to add the trigger from the original lighter back to the cannon. The trigger does not fit as is right back on top of the piezo because the barrel is now in the way. What needs to be done is to have the top of the trigger chopped down. You can see I've chopped down the trigger so that there's enough room for it to slide over the piezo. It can now be hot glued in place and the cannon is ready to fire. Now to fire this cannon, first I will remove the rear plug. I will then insert a cotton swab that has been soaked in 90% rubbing alcohol. I will rub this swab along the walls just like that. I then replace the plug and finally drop an airsoft pellet down the barrel. 
Now to fire, all that needs to be done is to squeeze the trigger. The only thing that must be done between repeat shots is to blow through the back end of the chamber so that all the old gas is cleared. And that is all there is to it to build this miniature combustion cannon.